Ayn Rand believed the creed of sacrifice was the morality of death and promoted her own morality of life where rational self-interest is venerated. Ayn Rand was the founder of a philosophy called Objectivism, which celebrates rational self-interest, laissez-faire capitalism, and progress. In her book, Atlas Shrugged, published 1957, America is declining, industry is staggering under overregulation, homeless beggars multiply. In the novel, the root of the problem is a disease of the heart. People just don't seem to care anymore due to being taught by government, journalists and professors that helping society is man's only purpose. The best and brightest, the men of the mind, who in reality are America's lifeblood, are persecuted by an envious government which confiscates their wealth and enslaves their creativity for the good of society. Eventually, they exile themselves to a hidden valley and America crumbles. Rand wrote, there are two kinds of teachers of the morality of death, the mystics of spirit who say God is everything and the mystics of muscle who say society is everything. Rand denounced God and society as meaningless terms that impeded human progress. Man's reward, say the mystics of spirit, will be given to him beyond the grave. His reward say the mystics of muscle, will be given on earth to his great-grandchildren. The two types of irrational mystics can be understood as religious fundamentalists and socialists. Rand argues the creed of sacrifice wants men to give up their well-being for others' well-being. It holds the most moral man to be he who sacrifices the most, including his own life, for society or God. The creed of sacrifice also holds that man is born evil, original sin, and man's innate selfishness is bad, so renouncing all personal happiness is good. Sacrifice, including death, is the highest virtue. This is why she calls the creed of sacrifice an evil morality of death. Rand instead argues, raise a standard to which the honest will repair, the standard of life and reason. Her creed holds that man's life is the standard of morality. Morality should be based on reason, not mystics, abstract concepts. Do you ask what moral obligation I owe my fellow men? None, except rationality. Rand also attacks the idea that mind, or soul, and body are separate as it suggests the body's proper place is in the earth and the soul's in heaven, and so life is flawed. Rand's novel can be criticised for its lack of sympathy to society's poorest and its simplistic view of history as being parasitic mystics on the one hand and awesome men of the mind on the other. In conclusion, Rand argues that thinking is life. If a man surrenders his thinking to mystics and accepts the creed of sacrifice, he will work himself to death for others as a sacrificial animal. 